Hello and welcome to this edition of Jerusalem Dateline. I'm Chris Mitchell. Benita Bet Bedal was a Christian believer who fled Iran due to religious persecution. For more than three decades, she enjoyed a better life, along with religious freedom in the United States. All that came to an end when she was murdered by an Islamic terrorist, not in Iran, but in San Bernardino, California. Gary Lane has her story. A nation mourns the victims of the terrorist attack in San Bernardino, California. Among those remembered, 46-year-old Benita Betpadal. She was a great wife, uh, a wife nowadays that will take care of her family. Great cook, great mom. She made the house beautiful. She was an angel. Arlen Verdeu is Benita Betpadal's husband. This is the United States. They have this international, uh, any type of religion we have in this United States. And unfortunately, it had to happen in her work and by Islamic. Um, I don't know if he was terrorist or what, but obviously an unhappy employee at this moment that uh, caused all the sadness. A Christian born in Iran in 1969, Benita escaped religious persecution following the Iranian Revolution. Only 18 years old when she arrived in the United States, Benita first settled in New York City. She later moved to California, where she met the man who would eventually become her husband, police officer Arlen Verdeu. They have three children ages 10, 12, and 15. She would be the one I would talk to. Mostly about everything. She knew all my secrets, everything. Like I've said before, she's my best friend, basically. And like, I just, yeah, my best friend. A graduate of California State Polytechnic University in Pomona, Benita worked as a San Bernardino County health inspector. Husband Arlen says he exchanged text messages with his wife around 8 a.m. Wednesday. He told Benita he was going to do some Christmas shopping. He says Benita had just finished decorating the family's Christmas tree and was excited about a presentation she was set to give that day at the office Christmas party. Three hours later, shots rang out at the Inland Regional Center. Muslim gunman Sayyid Farouk and his wife Tashfeen carried out their well-thought-out plan of attack. Fourteen people were killed, including Iranian Christian Benita Betbadal the woman who had fled Islamic extremism. Husband Arlen suggests even America may not be a safe place for Christians. Wherever you go, it's going to chase you. Is that pretty much it? She ran all the way from, for 35 years she'd been here, or back, whatever it is, 31 years she'd been here. And now, gone. In the hands of, as you said, Islamic uh, fanatic. Daughter Jolin says her mother would want their family to move on. She would want people happy. She didn't want them grieving or crying or anything. So that's what I'm taking in, and I'm turning that into my support that's like making me strong. Gary Lane, CBN News.